So. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, I like when you use the past tense in that <laughs> sentence. Good. Yeah, I know the feeling. Yeah. I know. I thought we are not connect each other very well. Um, how how long were the three of you out together yesterday? Is this the first time you have felt disconnected from him? Yeah. Okay. Well, then it's just one time. Don't worry about it too much. But I felt different. 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 You need to come different. back to class more often. <laughs> different. You felt different this time. Mm -hmm. Was he ignoring you or just um, hanging out more with his friend than with you? Hmm. He's not ignoring. Ignoring. I ignoring. And you would say was not. He was not. He was not, not ignoring me. Ignoring. <laughs> so, ignoring me. <laughs> he wasn't <laughs> ignoring me. But, but I felt sad. Um, was it, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice. <clears throat> were you sad? Were you sad before you left the house or were you sad only when you were out with them? After. Okay. Um, hmm. Did something else happen or just you felt like well, us? You felt like a third wheel. He... He sent me... He sent me like very simple things. Like over like, a text message? Only saying, yeah, or only saying, okay. Uh huh. Now I want to speak more friendly. Friendly? Not friend, but I want to speak more, but he only sent me okay or something. <laughs> Is that the first time this has happened? No. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm like, <sighs> right. Um, uh, well, I don't want to specify a gender. Gender? Oh, gender means you're either male or female. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't want to specify a gender, but uh, I know a lot of men don't text long messages <laughs> my dad doesn't my brother doesn't my ex-boyfriend doesn't <clears throat> um my the only one i know is one of i have two brothers one brother does <laughs> but he only but we only text each other once a year so when we do or twice a year <laughs> Well, when we text each other, we haven't texted in a long time, so oh. um, we have a lot to catch up on, and so we'll text walls of text. Like, you just scroll, and it's like one text, and it's a lot of catching up. Oh. <laughs> but if you're just making plans to hang out, what time? Three o'clock. Where? At the anime shop. You know, it's it's really short answers. Mm -hmm. um, when he replied in short answers, mm -hmm. were you asking 
what kind of questions were you asking? Just talking. <laughs> okay. So you were just kind of like having a conversation back and forth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because yeah. my, I guess the reason I'm asking is because if you were making plans to hang out and then, yeah. and, he, and he just replied in short answers, uh -huh. who's coming? My friend, where are we meeting? At the anime shop. These short answers are uh -huh. um, typical for making plans. You don't want to put like a whole long sentence or yeah. express all of your feelings and emotions. Uh -huh. I can't wait to see you at the anime shop. It's been so long. Um, <laughs> but if you are just, if you are texting just a conversation, it would be nice to have more than just one or two words. Yeah. Yeah. I know the feeling. It, it's, it's kind of a way of that person telling you, maybe this conversation is over. Not the relationship, just the conversation. Yeah. Now, did you ask him how he was feeling, if, if things were different? Hmm. <laughs> Communication is... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. <laughs> Communication is <laughs> crucial. Yeah. You know what crucial means? Crucial? Crucial. C-R-U. Crucial. I'm going to get up a messenger here. Make sure I spell it right. Crucial. C-R-U-T-I-A-L. No, I know cudgel. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I know that one. <laughs> Communication <laughs> is crucial to a long-lasting, meaningful relationship. So if you're bothered by, let me see if I spelled that right. Yeah, hang on. Uh -huh. No, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> The second way is the correct way. C-R-U-C-I-A-L. It means important. It's another way of saying important. It's crucial. Critical is another way of saying important. It's almost like you can't, you can't go without it. You cannot have a successful relationship without communicating. Mm -hmm. So, if you feel off, if you feel odd, and something's mm -hmm. different, mm -hmm. and he's not telling you up front that something's different, mm -hmm. it's important to ask. You're the one that has the different feelings. Maybe yeah. he does too, but you are picking up on something. Like your intuition is telling you something. Uh -huh. So ask him, hey, is everything yeah. okay? I noticed you're, uh, I noticed that you're only, <laughs> I noticed you're only replying in one word messages. Is everything okay? Yeah, I, I'm trying to tell. But what did you ask? No, I tried to tell him. Because you need an object with the, the verb tell. I tried to tell him. What did you... I tried to tell him, but... Um, you, what, what did you tell him? I, I, I tried. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so you didn't try. You thought about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I thought about asking him what the problem was, mm -hmm. but I didn't. Yeah, but I can't. Can't. <laughs> Couldn't. Couldn't. 
I thought about asking him what the problem was, but I couldn't. No, I couldn't. Aww. I don't, I'm trying. I tried. I tried to communicate, but the no, words no. wouldn't come out of my mouth. Oh, no. Exactly. Well, when you're texting, it's not really words coming out of your mouth, is it? No, I, I would call it. Oh, you... I, 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 I was... I was talk. Call, call, I called. I called him. We were talking on the phone. Yeah, but I couldn't. I can't. I I I, got, I couldn't talk. Because your mom was in the room, or what? No, because I can't. You, I couldn't speak. I couldn't express my emotions to him. Yeah, I could ex express, express my my feelings, opinion. Op opinion. Good <laughs> feelings, emotions. I couldn't express <laughs> my true feelings to him. Yeah. I know. I've been there. I've been there. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I couldn't speak out. I couldn't tell him how I really felt. Well, the boys didn't come to my mouth. You wanted to say something, but couldn't. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Aww. So well, I just said, Bye. <laughs> when was the last time you spoke with him? Five o'clock. Today? Uh -huh. Oh, that was just in, like an hour ago? Yeah. Two hours ago? Okay. Well. Three hours Four? No. Four hours ago. When I have that problem, I I always think the reason I can't say something to someone that I really need to say uh -huh. um, is because I'm afraid of the answer. Uh -huh. I'm afraid of the response. And, but the important thing is, I said and, but <laughs> the important thing in a relationship is to communicate. Because if the relationship is over, you want to know that sooner rather than later. You don't want to just be strung along. You don't want to have a relationship where you're behaving in a fake manner and he's behaving in a fake manner just so you guys can call each other boyfriend, girlfriend. You want to be honest, like I'm with you because I like you. I want you to be with me because you like me. Yeah. Um, well, oh, well, the <laughs> I want to worry me. I want him to worry me. About? Worry about me. You want him to ask you? Uh-huh. Okay, because you, were you on the phone being like... Act, I don't were want you, to... Were you on the phone acting all mopey and depressed like... Hmm. Hmm. So he would say, oh, Risa, what's wrong? Well, I don't want to make action. You want him to make the action. <laughs> and it's not make, it's do. I want him to do it. I want him to do it. Not me. I want him to do it. 
No, you need to take control. Yeah. I know. Take control. Find out where you stand in this relationship. Mm-hmm. Because if you start if you start keeping quiet, expecting him to say something, then that that's just going to start a bad cycle, a bad pattern of communicating. You've got to communicate better. One way is to stand up and say, hey, this is how I feel. What's going on? Mm-hmm. Again, I don't want to specify a gender, but... I know the men that I know Uh don't initiate conversations about feelings. Yes. (laughs) They would rather not. They, and you know, maybe they don't see it or hear it in our voices or see it in our faces. Or maybe they are actually just ignoring that difficult conversation. But if you're waiting for them to bring it up, if you're waiting for him to bring it up to you, mm-hmm. you're going to be waiting a long time. Yeah. If you really want to know, mm-hmm. ask ask him. Don't play games. <laughs> yeah. Because I'll, I'll tell you what I used to do. Mm-hmm. Um, a long, long time ago. Not when, well, okay. Not that long ago. Um, I would, let's see. Oh, I want him to text me first. I don't want to text him first. Mm -hmm. But you know what happens when, when I wait? I end up waiting like three or four days. Wow. Yeah. Wednesday goes by, Thursday goes by, Friday goes by, Saturday goes by, Sunday goes by. Maybe a text on Monday. Hey, how you doing? Because you know why? Because I waited because my ego said, you don't want to text him first. Mm -hmm. You want him to text you first. Uh... And so you know what happened when I waited for him to text me first? I waited and waited and waited and wait it. Instead of just, Deborah, pick up the phone and say hello. Do you like this person? Yes. Then pick up the phone and say hello. <laughs> so I don't hesitate anymore. I just pick up the phone and say hello if I want to talk to someone. Hey, I wonder how so and so is doing. Pick up the phone and say hello. Hey, I wonder how my boyfriend is feeling because he left me out yesterday when we when we went out as a group. Hey, boyfriend, how are you feeling? I noticed that our conversation is really short and um, not very deep. It's a surface conversation. Okay. Small talk. Okay. I want to know what's going on. Is everything okay? Because we're communicating differently now. And then find out how he feels. Yeah, because, oh my gosh, we, we are not like couples, we are like friends. Yeah. Yeah. I would like, no. So, but, but you're a couple in name only. Mm -hmm. You call him your boyfriend and he calls you his girlfriend. But we are Um, like friends. That's good. You want to be friends. Well, I want to be couples. Okay, what's the difference? Her conversations, and he never comes to me. Hmm, how how to say? He never talk. Hmm, not talk. <laughs> how to say? Um, he never in uh make actions. Okay, like kissing or what? Yeah. Okay. He never makes the first move. Mm-hmm. Whenever you're together, if you want to kiss, you have to make the first move, right? Yeah, I have to make something. 
<laughs> you have to make what? Sounds like. You make the first move. Use that expression. I make the first move. I know. Don't you hate that? It's so annoying. I hate that. I do too. Yeah. I want the guy or the, you know, I want the guy to make the first move for me. <laughs> on me. Is it make a move? Yeah, it's make a move on me. I want the guy to make the first move. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make the first move. And another way of it, yeah. saying that is sure. initiate. Initiate. I want yeah. him to initiate contact. Yeah. I want him to initiate a hug or a kiss or holding hands. No, it's always me. Mm -hmm. Right. When you make the first move, does he respond? Yeah. But is. you want him to make the first move. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe he's shy. Yeah, I hate it. Come on, boy. <laughs> You like a shy boy. That's what's happening. Don't be shy. Just do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say about that one. Because it's hard to change someone's personality. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I feel the same way. Like I, I prefer when a guy makes the first move. It's, it makes me feel like, okay, we're, we're in a relationship. This feels good. You want to be with me. I know that because you reached out. The same thing with dating. I want the guy to call me and ask me out. Like I said with the, um, with, well, yeah, it kind of goes opposite of what I was saying earlier. When, um, when I want to reach out, I'll reach out and say, hello, how are you? I haven't talked to you in a while. How are things going? Because if I wait, I could be waiting for a few days. So I guess I do reach out. But in terms of hanging out uh, or going out on a date, going out to dinner, going anywhere together, going for a walk together... I I appreciate when the man makes the first move. Oh man! Because if he because yeah, that's another thing. Um, I think that men like to pursue women. Uh -huh. I think it's in their nature to pursue women, and if like when when I have to pursue, I ask myself. Does he really even want to be here with me? Because I'm the uh, one. Because I feel like I'm the one that asked him out. I don't know if if he even really wants to be here. But if I know he asked me out, then I know he wants to be there. Uh -huh. I don't know. It's a hard one. Yeah. <laughs>